have you ever pondered the pivotal moments that led India towards its independence? One such significant event was the Cabinet Mission Plan of 1946, a proposed blueprint for the transfer of power from British colonial rule to Indian self-governance. The Cabinet Mission was born from the initiative of British Prime Minister Clement Attlee, comprising a trio of influential British Cabinet members, Lord Pethick Lawrence, Sir Stafford Cripps, and A.V. Alexander. The Viceroy of India, Lord Wavell, also had a hand in the discussions. Of the mission's primary aim? To negotiate the transfer of power from the British government to the Indian political leadership, all while preserving India's unity and securing its independence. This lofty goal was to be achieved through three main objectives, reaching an agreement with Indian leaders on a constitution for India, forming a constitution-making body, the Constituent Assembly of India, and establishing an executive council with the backing of the major Indian parties. The Cabinet Mission Plan proposed a three-tier administrative structure for British India. Picture a pyramid with the Federal Union at the top, groups of provinces in the middle, and individual provinces at the base. Three groups, named A, B, and C, were proposed for Northwest India, Eastern India, and the remaining central portions of India, respectively. However, like many well-intentioned plans, the Cabinet Mission Plan fell short of success. The deep-seated distrust between the Indian National Congress and the Muslim League proved to be its downfall. The Congress Party sought a strong center with minimal powers for the provinces, while the Muslim League demanded robust political safeguards for Muslims, like parity in the legislatures. These contrasting visions led to the mission's proposals in May 1946, which ultimately failed to gain traction with the parties involved. Despite its failure, the Cabinet Mission Plan of 1946 played a crucial role in the trajectory of India's independence. It may not have achieved its objectives, but it laid the foundation for future discussions and negotiations, paving the way for India's eventual liberation. The mission underscored the complexities and challenges inherent in the transfer of power, offering invaluable lessons for future diplomatic endeavors. So next time you ponder the winding path towards India's independence, Remember the Cabinet Mission Plan of 1946, a failed yet significant stepping stone in the grand scheme of India's journey to self-governance.